Yes boys, welcome back to this brand new FIFA 19 Ultimate Team Is this player worth it type video slash player review type video But yeah, we do make a lot of these videos on my channel as you, all, as you all know of course I've got lots of them on all the icons that come out We did make one on Prime Icon Baresi that did come out as an SPC yesterday Make sure you do check that video out Drop it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below on it Same for this video, make sure you drop it a like if you do enjoy Also comment down below what your thoughts are on the video and what videos you do want to see and what your thoughts are on this Royce card. Do you think he's worth it or not? But yeah, thanks so much for the support on the Baresi video. It did very well. The feedback was amazing. And we also hit around 50 subscribers just from that video alone. So welcome all to the channel if you are new watching this video. I do make lots of these videos, but yeah. We are gonna get into this. As you can see on the screen, of course, this player of the month Royce does look very, very good. Very, very good. Um, but he's going to cost you around 930,000 on the market, which is a lot of coins to put into a card that you pretty much know is going to get a team of season. But the new promo does drop at 6 o'clock, so stay tuned for that. I have got an image on the screen now of all the players that are coming out in the new promo. I'm not sure if you have seen it or not. But yeah, this is the team. I thought I'd show you the. there's a few players that do look good, but leave a comment down below as well. Which card are you most excited to use or which card do you want the most out of all of this? But yeah. I'm not going to talk too much about that, but this is the player of the month, Royce, as you can see on the screen. But make sure if you are going, to, if you are enjoying the video, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and make sure you do turn the post notification bells on right next to the subscribe button. But yeah, this player of the month, Royce, into the video now. Player of the month, Royce, he looks very, very good. I'm not going to lie to you. He looks insane and he would be an amazing player but if you are here and you have already got the 89 Royce or the 90 Royce I'm pretty sure, the last few player of the month cards, then this SPC just isn't worth throwing any more coins out. It's going to cost you around 930,000. I'm going to have the prices on the screen when I go into the squads very shortly but make sure you do check Footbin out on how you can complete it for the cheapest way possible if you are looking to complete the SPC. Personally in my opinion the SPC is not worth it, it just isn't. He's a very, very good card, don't get me wrong, and he's and he's so he's so perfect. He can fit into many teams. I'm not gonna lie, German, Dortmund, and that new Sancho that's coming out gets a strong link to him. Like, he looks very good. He really does look very good, and his card's amazing. Shooting stats, he you can't really put a bad word about him, apart from the 79 stamina, in my opinion. Obviously, it isn't too much of a problem, don't get me wrong, but it's just it would be better if it was around 85, 86, 87. Less problems, but he will get a bit tired late on in games. I have noticed that with the other Royce cards. I've only ever used normal Royce on this game, but yeah. We are going to get into the first part of the SPC here. We're not going to be completing it on this video, of course, but Team of the Week players too, 85 rated squad, and this one is called Marco Royce. Is going to cost you around 257,000 coins on the market so it is a lot of coins just to get a mega pack so you're spending about 260k realistically to get a 35k pack in return so the pack rewards don't look great at all i'm not going to lie to you but you don't really expect to get great pack rewards but if you are doing the spc make sure you do save the pack for 6 p.m just for a chance to hopefully get one of these team of the week uh one of these future star players there's a lot of good players and they will be selling for a lot of coins some of them so i highly recommend you to save your packs on 100 percent if you are completing it but i don't think you should complete it but if you have got a german team or you're a mad dortmund fan something like that or you're from germany and you just love dortmund and you just, yeah, and if you just love Marco Royce as a player or as a person or anything, then it probably is worth, like, completing it because maybe you just love him and you want to complete it. But, of course, he is going to get a Team of the Season card pretty much confirmed. He's got three Player of the Months. He's had an amazing year. He came back from injury. He's just going to get a Team of the Season card 100%. So, if you have the patience to wait, then 100% it's worth waiting just, just to get the Team of the Season. Because it's better players you can use for the time being. Like you don't need to just go and get this player. But as you can see here, this is another SBC you do complete here for it. It's called Sharpshooter. And you do get a Bundesliga Prime Players pack, which is an interesting one. Maybe that could be very good if you do complete it. If there are a lot of Bundesliga players from this new promotion that is out at the minute. But yeah, this one's going to cost you 140,000 coins to complete. You need a Gladbach player and a Werder, Bre Werder Bremen player and a... Free Freiburg, sorry I'm not very good with these German clubs, I can't really pronounce them, but 
yeah, as you can see, 140,000 coins, you get a Bundesliga Prime Players pack, which is a 45k pack, but actually like a 60k pack because it's Bundesliga only, so it's worth more value than just a normal Prime Players pack, in my opinion, anyway. Um, but 75 chem, 84 rating, 140k, quite expensive again. So, so far, we're up to, we're up to almost 400k just for the first two SBCs. He's spending 400k for like 70k in packs back. We will get into the Borussia Dortmund one here. This one's more expensive again. It's going to cost you around 235,000 coins. As you can see on Footbin, make sure you do go ahead and check the Footbin squads if you are looking to complete it. But 86 rated, Team of the Week players a minimum of two, Dortmund players one. So again, you need a lot of informs required. Two informs, two informs, three informs. So currently, you need to submit seven informs which is crazy because yeah you're just constantly making us submit submit informs at the minute and obviously because these squads are quite high rated so an 86 rated team overall that means of course you need to buy two team of the week players that are reasonably high rated which makes the price go up drastically so yeah pretty much this SBC it's just it isn't worth it but I wanted to make a video on it anyway for the people that do want to see it of course but yeah, 292k for this final squad, player of the month it's called. And as I already said, we were up to about 630k here. And this one's going to cost you like 290 to 300,000. You need a Dortmund player again. You need two Team of the Week players, 87 rated squad, Bundesliga, Germany. And we will have a look here at the Dortmund players, like who is one of the highest rated Dortmund players. I'm pretty sure it will probably be Normal Royce. Yeah, so it is Normal Royce. But obviously you can't put you can put normal Royce in here, but he's gonna limit the chemistry. But you only need 65 chem anyway, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem whatsoever. But 87 rated squad plus two informs just for this is a lot. Like it really is asking a lot. So overall, as you can see on the screen, around this point, the SBC is worth about 930,000 coins, and you are going to be getting this card in return, which is an amazing card. It really, really is an amazing card, don't get me wrong. Four star weak foot, four star skill moves, what a card. Medium, medium, so he's a perfect cam, very, very good central cam in a 4-2-3-1. So yeah, the card is amazing, it really is amazing. Um, I'm not going to take that away from you whatsoever, but is the SBC worth it? No, it isn't worth it at all. We are looking at Royce here on the market. This is highest rated inform, being the 87 one, sorry. And it is selling for around 350 to 400,000 coins on the market. This SBC is four ratings above that, and it's selling for 500 coin, 500k extra. So is it worth 500k just to upgrade the car by four rating stats? Don't get me wrong, four ratings is huge, and it makes a huge difference to Royce's card. So it probably is worth it for the extra 500k. But is it is this card a 900,000 coin player? Let's have a look at a few other players you can buy for 900,000 coins. For example, we've obviously got Neymar in form. You could buy Inform Neymar, I'm pretty sure, for the same price. Pretty much, yeah. Neymar, Inform Neymar is a million, but it's pretty much the same. So, what would you prefer to have? Inform Neymar, Player of the Month Royce. I know who I prefer to have, but obviously, it's all down to preference. It's all down to who you prefer. But you could actually buy normal Neymar on the market and normal Mbappe and have coin spare. And yeah, it just isn't worth it, in my opinion. But yeah, off the point of Royce, I know the video is about Royce, but this is my team for the weekend league comment below what are you hoping to finish this weekend and what team you are rocking follow me on twitter mccartney underscore ben tweet me your teams ask me anything any videos you want to see anything like that but yeah support on the channel has been insane recently my team is amazing i did pack team the ever ran if you didn't check that video out make sure you do check it out for sure but yeah i'm gonna end it here very very shortly but this is the future stars i thought most people that were here for royce would have gone by now but this is for the future star players as you can see a lot of very very good cards so who would you want out of all these cards the most so personally in my opinion it would be the center back from laysberg i don't know how you say it but that upamentano i don't know how you say it sorry but yeah and we've also got adair militao or whatever he's a very very good option as well also mendy left back very very, very good option again doozy but keep in mind that these players are gonna be um 
nowhere near as good as Icon, stuff like that. People are looking at the cards instantly and they're thinking, oh my god, they're going to be better than Icon, stuff like that. And don't believe that because it just isn't true. These cards look good, but it doesn't mean they're going to be good, of course. But as you can see here, Gendouzi is a silver card and he is non rare. So I'm pretty sure if you do put these into the gold upgrade SBCs, uh, the silver players, if you do have any silver players in your club, if you put them into these SBCs and you get three common gold players packs, is a lot of these players that are non rare on the game. So that means you are able to go ahead and pack them. For example, we do have Phil Foden, the young one from Manchester City, as we all know. Phil Foden, silver card, currently selling for 8k, probably because of the SBC coming out or just because of the hype around him, I'm not too sure. But yeah, as you can see on the market here, he's a silver rare actually. So you can't pack him in any of the packs, but obviously you can pack him in silver packs, I think. He will be only coming out of silver packs, I am guessing. But we will see at 6pm, so make sure you do stay tuned for that. I hope you did enjoy the video. But yeah, one last look at this player of the month, Royce. What a card. But yeah, I hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to drop a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. And as of always, that's been it. Peace out. Gonna be in my position. Keep my shades on because they're trying to see the vision. You tell me, bad man, see I need your love. See I need your love.